Hi, this is Josh from Over the Shoulder Coding, where I help you prepare for software engineering interviews by guiding you through solving real problems. In this series, I will walk you through HackerRank's 30 Days of Code Challenge day by day. Today, we're learning about interfaces. Interfaces are an object-oriented concept where a class implements a specific set of methods and properties so that other parts of your program know how to interact with the class. Another way to think about an interface is the different hats a person can wear. A person can take on many roles. A teacher, friend, brother, sister, parent, child. Those are different ways for other people to interact with that person. And the person can take on as many roles or interfaces as he or she wants. An interface is important because it helps to standardize interactions within code without dictating how specific parts are implemented. This is a very common pattern used in Java or object-oriented languages since you can only inherit from one parent class in Java, but you can implement multiple interfaces. In Python, there's multiple inheritance, so we will use abstract classes to define interfaces instead. Let's see how interfaces or abstract classes in Python will play in today's task. We're going to implement the advanced arithmetic interface and its divisor sum method. We're going to help finish the calculator class, which will implement the advanced arithmetic interface by inheriting the abstract class. And the implementation will be done in the calculator class as well. So our task today is to implement the divisor sum method, which will return the sum of all divisors of n. So how do we know if an integer is a divisor of n? An integer is a divisor of n if it divides n evenly with no remainder. This can be determined by using the modulo operation. This method has a special operator, the percent symbol. And by writing n percent i, we will get the result of the remainder of n divided by i. So an example is if we say 5, div uh, five modulo 3. So here we'll say, what's the remainder of 5 when divided by 3? And we know 3 goes into 5 once evenly with a remainder of 2. So 5 modulo 3 is going to equal 2. If we have n is 6 modulo 3, 3 divides 6 evenly twice. So the remainder is going to be 0. And so that's how we know that 3 is going to be a divisor for 6. To find the sum of all the divisors, we will loop from 1 to n inclusive and find all the numbers that have a remainder of 0 when dividing n. We will add those numbers cumulatively into a sum variable and return it at the end. Let's look at implementing our solution. HackerRank is going to handle parsing the input for the start value n, initializing our calculator class, and calling our divisor sum method. Then they will print the first class that our calculator class inherits from. You can see that here in line 12. And then they're going to print the divisor sum return value. HackerRank's already implemented the advanced arithmetic class as well to help us inherit it in the calculator class. All that's left for us to do is to implement the divisor sum method of the calculator class. We will start by initializing our running total variable at 0. We will add all divisors to this variable and return it at the end. Next, we'll write a for loop to go over all integers between 1 and n. Range is inclusive of the first variable and excludes the last variable, so we'll need to write n plus 1 to make sure we include 6 in the for loop. In each iteration of the for loop, we'll check if i is a divisor of n with our modulo operator. If it is, we'll add it to our running total.
instead of writing it out like this, where we're calculating the value of the running total previously plus the value of i in this iteration, and then overriding that value, we can just do plus equals like this, and it will add it and save it into the running total. So we'll just increment running total by however much i is. Finally, when we've looped over all integers between 1 and n, we'll return our running total. All right, let's test our solution. Looks good. Let's submit it and see how we did. Great, looks like we passed all the test cases. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you missed the previous video, please click here to review it or click here to view the full Hacker Rank 30 Days of Code Challenge playlist. If you want to see me solve other problems, please comment down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you later.